Good. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome. Um, so, I guess for we haven't, you know, we weren't with you in Cleveland. Don't know what your thought process was, but just kind of after last season, were you fully committed to wanting to play this year? And then, what was free agency like for you? I guess? Yeah, I was fully committed. I've been fully committed to playing. I yeah. mean, I haven't really thought about not playing football. Right. So, um, yeah, to answer that for sure, I, I, I'm excited to to be on a team and and you know, have a idea of what the next couple months are going to look like. Um, what was the second part? Uh, just like, you know, what can, you know, what having those various opportunities coming off the heels yeah. of last season was it, I guess it was probably nice to be wanted, right? I mean, I well, assume you, yeah, listen, I mean, it was obviously a little bit different than, off, than last offseason mm -hmm. where I didn't get any calls at all. Um, but even this offseason, I mean, I thought it might, I, I wasn't really sure how it was going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't like I played a ton of games last year or anything like that. Um, but definitely grateful for Indy to you know, reach out and and, ha and have this as an opportunity. What were your discussions? What, what are your expectations here with the young quarterback already on the roster? Yeah, listen, I mean, I've kind of been in this role for a handful of years now. Obviously, last year was a little bit different because I wasn't <laughs> anywhere. I was able to come in and play pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, it's just about being in the room with him and, and, and um, you know, a lot of conversations naturally come up when you spend so much time together in a room. So it's, it's just kind of, I think, being able to bring the experience and being able to help him simplify things and go out there and play fast and use his skill set the way he wants to. You, just, you got traded, I think, mid-season when you were at Philly, but that still gave you a lot of time with Shane. Mm -hmm. What's that relationship like and what you learned about him in that time? Yeah, Shane's great. And I think he does you know, some pretty cool stuff offensively and you know, gives the quarterback a really good chance to, to play his best football. Um, so that's probably the most exciting thing about about being here with him. Joe, with again, you said you still want to play. In the last year, when you weren't getting calls, did you think maybe this is done? Did you, or did you never let your mind go? Yeah, I was optimistic that I was going to get a call early on, like it, 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 over the summer. I, I figured I'd go through training camp and all that, but I figured once the season started, at some point I would get a call. And to be honest with you, it was right around that point that I, that I ended up getting a call that I was probably starting to have a little bit of doubt that it was going to actually happen. Um, so yeah, it, it, it creeps in, I guess, a little bit just because I was actually sitting at home uh, last year. You were uh, on your couch. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's interesting. I, I think I've been through enough off seasons to kind of you know, keep myself focused on what the task at hand is. And so I've, I've been able to kind of, last year I was able to just kind of carry that through the summer and into the fall and not actively think about the fact that I wasn't with somebody. I had enough stuff that I was doing on a daily basis to kind of keep me just focused on doing that, you know, and a little bit distracted from the fact that I wasn't really where I want to be. Um, so it definitely makes it a little bit easier this year, kind of not having to worry about all that, um, and actually be with somebody, get to be part of the team a little bit earlier than, than last year. So, what, so what, what, what keeps you doing this? Where I hope I phrase this right, but like I mean, you've you've been a Super Bowl winning quarterback, been in a much different role in your career. You know what your role is generally at this point in your career. Um, you could decide to do something else. I mean, right? <laughs> I don't know what else that would be. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, when you, you have something you, know, you, you gotta love. get up every day, come here and do yeah. the work, and you know what, what keeps you doing it. When you have something that you love to do and you and you enjoy putting in the work and all that, um, you know I don't know too many people that would give that up to find, to try to go do something else or figure out what else that may be. I, I have no idea what else that would be, <laughs> um, and one day we'll figure that out. But I'm not really, you know. Not, I, I just don't, not really ready to kind of go figure out what else that may be that I love to do, especially when I'm going to be given an opportunity to still do what I love to do. Yeah. Um, having five kids at home also kind of pushes me in the direction of coming back here and, <laughs> and, and, and doing those things, I'm Thank sure. You. So, yeah. I mean, what if you like just a player that Anthony could be, he is right now, and just the talent level that he possesses being such a unique. Yeah, I think we all see, like you all see what kind of athlete he is and what kind of arm he has and, and all those types of things. So that's why I just said earlier, like for me being here, it's, it's, it's teaching him how to simplify and play fast and use those tools as opposed to 
you know, trying to process maybe certain things that you don't really need to worry about, and then you go out there and you're not able, you're not even able to use your skill set the way you want to, and you, you, you kind of slow yourself down a little bit. So, I think we see the athlete he is, the arm he has, the talent that he has. So as long as he can utilize those skills and, and play in a fast and efficient manner, then I think you know the sky's the limit. Since you said you five kids at home, what, what's your oldest? Eleven. No wonder you want to work. <laughs> has, has the age group, age difference between you and some of these players? You're older than the coach. I know. It's yeah. No, I I think it's it's I think it's honestly been. It wasn't until a couple of years ago that I realized, man, like I I'm actually older than these guys now. Like I don't view it that way, but you can see that when they look at me. I can see in their eyes that they're like a little bit kind of thrown off by what's going on. <laughs> and it didn't dawn on me right away, but all of a sudden it did. It's like, holy, they're looking at me because they're wondering what, what, what I'm still doing here, why, how I am this old, whatever it may be. Um, but in my experience with that, it's honestly been able to, it, it's, it, I think it's really cool for the relationships. Uh, I'm very open and animated like when you get me in the cafeteria and we're sitting around a table and stuff like that and you can kind of get me going and I think some of the young guys like it, it's just cool to you know probably have a perspective from a 39 year old that that really thinks he's 25 uh, doesn't see any difference between himself and all the other guys in the locker room but they see it. Uh, it, it I think it's led to a lot of really cool relationships and that's, that's what's so special about being inside a locker room is you have guys from all over, um, all different ages, and it, it keeps you young for sure. Well, do, you last think, do they know you? Do you, think they, do, you, do you think they know who you are, the young guys? <laughs> uh, a couple years ago, I was probably like, I don't know, maybe they didn't. Um, my experience has been like, especially like, I would say yes, at this point they know, because even the kids that are my kids' age, they kind of knew, especially because my kids went to school with them, um, but they didn't really. But after playing last year at the end of the season, uh, I went home and I was going to my kids' basketball games, and now all of a sudden there was a bunch of kids coming up to me <laughs> and like knowing who I was. So at this point, I'm sure the 20-some-year-olds kind of know who I am. What was last season like for you to experience just going from not having an opportunity, all of a sudden, you know, the success you had getting into the playoffs, what did that kind of do for, for where you were in your career? I think the whole uh, piece of it where I wasn't playing in the beginning and then got signed, I mean, I, to, obviously that's pretty surreal. Like you go from being at home one week to two weeks later, you're playing uh, meaningful football games. But for me, it was just kind of, it gave me a chance to get back in that mode of like playing football and winning and having fun. And, you know, I, I went into it with a different perspective than I had ever probably had before, but it just reminded you how much fun it is to play this game, especially when you're in meaningful positions. So being you surprised like, that Cleveland, that, that you're here and not in Cleveland after the way you played? Yeah, probably a little bit, but you know, I, I, not a ton. I, I, I've been around obviously long enough to know that, you know, you, you probably shouldn't expect something to happen or anything like that because you never know how it's going to turn out. You you said, um, I think there were some quotes that you that I saw from you in the past where you were like, look, I'm not here to be somebody's mentor, which I'm sure like that's a competitor in, competitor in you saying like, I'm here to do my job. You do seem like you've come to embrace that role a little bit, right, over the years. Uh, is there anything well, to Well, it's, it's just one of those questions that you guys are going to nail me for either yeah, yeah, way, yeah. you know, and it's like, <laughs> I get it. I really don't believe that's the job of a backup quarterback, you know. I, I think that happens naturally as you become part of the team, and like I said, you're in, you're in that room, mm -hmm. and you are going to obviously do that. I've proven to be, I think, a, you know, as far as I'm concerned, a good teammate. And I think that's the most important. And those kind of things happen naturally. But it's not like, you know, yeah, it's not like you're going to sit there and hold people's hands and do different right. types of things. You have relationships with people, just like you do every single team you're on. And listen, 
I've gotten in trouble in the past. That's why this is such a touchy subject because you can write whatever you want about it. Like if you want to, if you want to roast me, then you can say, "Oh, Joe doesn't want to be a mentor." Or if you, if you want, if you don't want to, then you can kind of put it in, in a different context. Um, I don't know if I'm any. I don't know if my mindset's any different on the fact. Like, you know, I think every quarterback in this league sees themselves as somebody that wants to be on the field and wants to play, and I think that's probably the best mindset to go in there and help somebody with. Because if I wasn't interested in, in, in that in some way, then how engaged would I be in the meetings? Mm -hmm. How much would I be able to help him? I think when you, when, you, when you constantly have to be of that thought process that I may be in there the next play, you, you, you completely engage yourself in every situation that you're in. And that's also when questions arise or mm -hmm. when you see something that you've been through before, you can put it in a very simple way. I think that's one of the biggest things about playing quarterback and being able to survive in this league a long time is to be able to simplify things. Because at the end of the day, it's just football. Like, you know, we, we can complicate this thing a lot, but the guys that go out there and play well, it, it, they're playing fast because they're not, you know, they're either naturally doing it or they're just kind of simplifying it to the point where they don't have to worry about every tiny little thing and they can't process anything at all. So I think I can bring a lot of that to the meeting room for sure. And the end goal is to win a lot of football games here, and I, and I want to be a part of that in any way I can. And I'm not going to roast you day one. So you yeah. <laughs> what, what's your first take on this roster, first blush, and how prepared this team is to, to win? I mean, I've, I've been trying to ask around a little bit, you know, like, hey, what, how do we feel about this? How do we feel about that? Um, because I honestly don't know too much. I do know that this this was a team that was one game away from being a playoff team last year. Uh, I was sitting, I was sitting around watching uh, the Colts play the Texans last year, and I was like, "All right, who do we want to win this game? You know, what do we want?" <laughs> I didn't really know. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what I know. I know this is a team that's probably you know from from knowing Shane, they're well coached and they have the ability to be a playoff team and, 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 and really make a run at it. So, What kind of challenge do you think there will be um, to just to backing up a quarterback with Anthony's skill set as much as he's going to be used as a runner? Is that as complicated as it, it seems, or uh, is there crossovers? You guy can maybe run a little bit of the zone read? I, listen, obviously there's different <laughs> skill sets there, but you still understand what they're trying to accomplish in terms of certain plays that he's gonna run. So like, if, if you're asking like, can I still give some insight on some of those plays? I, I, I still think I can, because even though I might not be doing those things, I think I still have the ability to probably process and decide what the right thing to do is and what you have to look at versus what you don't have to look at. Now, I mean, that's probably more a question for the coaching staff in terms of like, you know, what this guy does versus what that guy does. But obviously it was a little bit different last year too with Anthony and with Gardner, you know. So um, I think as a player, you just want some direction as to what you're gonna do and you go out there and you do it the best that you can uh, within the parameters that they give you and that's what you want to do. Gardner talked last year about coming in to compete, that being the best way to get Anthony to kind of raise up that you know, the more he competed, the more Anthony would, would beat that. Is that the way the best quarterback rooms you've been a part of work? Yeah, listen, you always want to go out there. Like every single practice is super important uh, to go out there and, and show what you have. My biggest thing when I come to new teams or, or, or even when new guys come and you're on the same team is you want to prove to the locker room that you can play because that's how you become part of the team. Like everybody sees, oh man, this guy can, this guy can play. This guy can help us win if he, needs to, if he needs to do that. So you're competing with yourself every single day um, to be the best that you can. And I think that naturally just kind of, you know, guys, it rubs off on people. You, you learn how to work um, and you become the best you can. You know what? Okay, a couple more. That's for you, what's left to shake? Like, you've been so pinnacle, right? And, and you've had a lot of success in your career, but is there a certain um, level you to just playing and, and maybe not, okay, I, I've accomplished so much and now I can just go out there and just play, or how do you feel? Uh, early in my career, I, I tell people this. I, I, um, 
you kind of look at guys that have been around a long time and you're like, man, like it must be nice being, you know, being around for 10 years. I, they probably don't even get nervous for games anymore. And it's, it, it's just never happens. This game always means a ton. Every time that you take that practice field, you have a certain feeling. Uh, every time that you take, that you go out there and play a game, you have a certain feeling that you get. And you just want to go play. You want to play the best you can and, sh and, and do it for yourself and do it for your teammates. And it really never changes. Uh, I don't care what you've accomplished or what you haven't. You know, you want to go out there and, and, and you want to do your best and you want to be able to look at yourself in the mirror at night and, and, and know that you did everything that you could to go out there and do the best you can, whether that's practice or, or games. Um, it, it, the fire still burns to go out there and, and be better than you were the, the day before, the year before, whatever it may be.